What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to be doing a review. We got the uh, new Halo Arrow that came out. Um, when me and my dad heard the news, we were super pumped. I, I've never thrown an arrow, so you're gonna see my first reaction to an arrow throw. My dad's thrown plenty of arrows in the past. So, yeah, we're gonna be out here throwing it. We're gonna do all that cool stuff. Telling you how it flies, obviously. Um, how it feels with different angles it's good to throw at, what speeds it's best to throw at. Yeah, let's get into it. So, I think that I've kind of steered your expectations. So, I'm excited to throw it because I used to throw it a lot, but I you can't get them anymore. So now that they're running it, I got super excited. So I think my enthusiasm rubbed off on you. Yeah. You made it so, sound like it's the greatest throwing putter in the entire world. I think it's a great throwing putter. I enjoy it a lot. And especially in the Halo plastic, it might have the stability that it needs to, to hold up. So we will see. Yep. So either there are two possibilities. It'll have the stability to hold up and you'll be able to throw it hard. Or it'll be flippy and you'll have to have a lot of touch like it's a Frisbee. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's do it. Now we're gonna talk about the feel. So, first feeling this, it's a bigger disc than your normal, um, normal disc here. Let me grab, to compare. I got a <clears throat> Star Invader right here. You can kind of tell it's a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can really tell off the camera, but in person you can. Um, I noticed this earlier. It's baffled by it. No idea that the arrow is a bigger disc. I could fit the arrow over the entire over the entire disc, and you can still see some of the arrow. So that's cool. Um, but it feels very similar to a dart. Uh, probably not as deep and it's got that same dome that some darts have but still feels pretty good um it could just be because it's pretty hot out it's kind of gummy ish and it's pretty slick right now but just get a truck bag fix that right up you know but yeah we will have my dad's thoughts on how it feels now so my initial feel is it's a little soft for my liking. It might be the color, it might be this run, but I know that they, or I think, I heard, I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, they kept running heavy, so they couldn't run them, so that maybe they put something in this plastic to make it softer, which made it lighter. Um, I don't know, but it feels like an arrow. Other than being <laughs> soft, it feels like an arrow. So it'll probably fly like an arrow. So what we're gonna do is, my idea was, I got all my throwing putters right here. My dad's got all of his throwing putters right there. And we're gonna kind of compare to where the arrow would fit in our bag and if it's gonna make the bag. All right, here's the throwing putters I'm currently throwing. Uh, most under, I'll go most understable, most overstable. I got a uh, Star Invader, a Sky God 3, a halo tomb and then finally the beefiest one of them all i got a uh lust uh, champion luster avrx3 
So mine's a little more complex. So I've got an understable KC Glow AVR. I've got a straight flying KC Glow AVR. And I've got an overstable KC Glow AVR. Throw them all flat. You're gonna what? Try and throw them all flat. Three putters, three mid ranges, three fairways, three drivers, whatever speed you need to fill. Here's my first reaction of throwing the arrow. I'm gonna throw it out at the uh, middle trees over there, the two ones. There's one kind of lean and one in the middle. Um, just throw it out there. Kind of semi hard. Try to go flat. Let's see how it flies. That has a lot of glide. <laughs> that thing flies great. Oh my gosh. Okay. I missed my line, but that's I wasn't expecting it to have that stability. Okay, good. That's what I thought the halo would do to it. So that's, that's good. That's so it's good. a good one. Okay, I did throw so it. So you can throw it. I didn't throw it super hard because I didn't know how far it would go or if it'd flip over. Plus, the feel's not huge, but that's going to be fun to throw. Yeah, know? so so th that is a good one. So it's gonna you're going to be able to throw it hard, and it's going to click up one. So if you throw it flat, it's going to drift over to the right slowly. If you hyzer it, it's going to go to flat and just hold straight. Okay. It'll get up to one, but it won't go over it. So okay. you can trust it. So this will be fun. This will be fun. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so it looked a little bit stable on Brosnan so I'm going to try and throw it flat, follow through over, see if I can get it to drift over on its own. <laughs> that is so much glide. Yeah, it went so straight. It didn't move. Once it locked on to where it wanted to fly from the angle I gave it, it just stuck right there. That's a good feeling. Time to do what this disc shines at, according to my dad. I'm going to throw a big, huge Annie at this, the tallest tree on the left over here. And it's going to turn, supposedly, to where we just threw from. So, if... I'm gonna do that and it's gonna look really cool. So here we go. <laughs> a bunch of Annie? Yes. Okay. Well, get over on it, but get it as high as you can. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, past it even. <laughs> okay, and then. I, what, other, another disc I would throw on that line would be this uh, Star Invader. So we'll do the exact same thing and then compare the two. Now we'll go. The arrow went a lot farther than the uh, Invader did. So I'm going to throw a big hyzer. Towards the trees, it's gonna carry away left. 
And I can't throw you because there's a dog in the middle of the field. Alright, we're good now. I didn't throw it very good, but it still went super far. <laughs> a lot farther than I threw it. I'll throw... with my Halo Tomb. Same one. You can't even see it. Alright. He throws the arrow. Um, definitely gonna make the bag. This thing is really fun to throw. Does some crazy stuff no other discs will do. And, yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on it, Dad? I thought it was a great disc. Definitely, I, I, I agree. really just cut you off, but it was definitely exceeded expectations, that's for sure. Well, that's good because I raised your expectations. You but no, I knew it was going to be good. Um, yeah, it's going to my bag, and I'm going to have a stack of them yeah. sitting in the closet. I got a couple more coming. I yeah. just got this one today, so just. I was at this golf shop and oh my gosh, they have them in. Can't wait to get them. Yeah. So yeah, no. there you go. There's the arrow. Um, like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Peace.